This is our transitional emergency shelter program, what we call internally um, our recovery program. This is where people who have used substances can come and recover safely under the monitoring of a nurse. We get referrals from all over. Some people are self-referrals. They might have used at our safe injection site and walk around the corner and say, I need a bed for recovery. Ottawa Police brings us people um, who might otherwise end up in jail or in the hospital. Um, they bring them to us instead. Ambulances can bring people who have been using substances to come and recover safely. Uh, once we arrive, we bring the patient in and then we meet with healthcare staff. We provide a, a triage report, we call it, but an, a report on our assessment, our findings, and then we transfer that care. At that point, the paramedics then are able to leave, but we're returning to the community a lot faster. Now, last month alone, we were able to take approximately 73 patients here. So in October um, of 2021, it would have been 73 patients that would be able to be diverted from the emergency department to this facility. Typically what happens, a general call that we'll get, we either get a 911 call or it's a proactive call where we come across someone downtown that's, whether they're intoxicated, uh, mental ill, a combination of both, or some substance abuse issues. This person typically, rather than going to the hospital, that's the step that we used to take. Back when I was uh, a young constable in 2005, we'd look at hospital or we would take them to our cell block at the station through some of the developing of programs, TSP has come around and has given us a really good option, not just us, but our partners, our paramedic partners, to uh, transfer and bring uh, someone in a state where um, they shouldn't be out in public. Uh, they're either a danger to themselves or they're a danger to public. And this is the first step where we can take them, where we're not utilizing some of those other assets, uh, the hospitals, our police station. When police or paramedics bring in an individual, um, we look to see if they're stable, uh, why were they brought in. When paramedics bring them in, we grab their truck number, we grab the call number as well. We get their vitals, uh, blood sugar, blood pressure, uh, oxygenation level, why they're picked up. And then we assess the client if we feel they need to be in an observation room. We place them in our observation room, that's where we're able to check on them a lot more frequently. If they're fairly stable, we'll bring them to the dorms. So we do hourly rounds. So how we monitor clients when they're here, we do hourly rounds on them. Um, if they're in our observation room, we'll do 15. Every 15 minutes, we'll do a round on them. And then once they're stable, we'll do every half an hour. And then once they're stable on that, we'll do every hour. They can connect with our nurses, our client care workers for their mental and physical health needs. They can um, engage with case managers so that they can work on getting IDs or finding out where they want to be housed um, and we get a better sense of what people need and what type of housing that they require. Uh, this program helps the healthcare system as a whole. Paramedics tend to really like the program. Um, for the paramedics as well, when they go to the hospital, they cannot leave that patient until that patient is admitted into the hospital, so that jams up sometimes six to eight hours of their day. It's just sitting in a hospital waiting and waiting and waiting. Where they can come here, it's a quick five, ten minute chat with the paramedics and then we take over the client. I wish people knew that every time they see a police car on the street beside Shepherds of Good Hope, it doesn't mean that someone has gotten violent or somebody has committed a crime. Oftentimes, the police are actually bringing people to us to access our services. And the same with, you know, if you see an ambulance in front of our building, chances are it's not some massive medical emergency, it's actually someone coming in having used substances that needs recovery. 